Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR NET December 2019 and we are doing this problem 36 of your paper. It's a, prob it's a problem from complex analysis. So let us have a look. Let f such that c to c be an entire function with the property like this. Then which of the following is true? So you have these options in your hand and question is talking about your function f whether it will exist or not whether it is unique or not or something like this what i want to tell you in this problem that this problem is a is a is an application of the identity theorem that you have studied from the complex analysis so what i will do i will firstly state identity theorem for you and after that we will solve this problem so this is what is called identity theorem. What it says that if we have two holomorphic functions on a domain D and there is a set S, we are calling that set S, all right? So if there is a set S on which F and G are equal. So if it happens that F and G are equal on this set S, then what will happen if this S has a limit point in D then f is equal to g on d all right now in your case it was given to you that f of 1 by n is equal to 1 by n square so this is what will give us a motivation to find out g i will choose my gz to be z square and also we see this is also entire and it is defined on the complex one all right entire actually means holomorphic on the uh, complex plane now see f and g are two equal functions on which set on s is equal to 1 by n such that n belongs to natural number. Now you know that for this set 0 is a limit point right for this set 0 is a limit point and this set 0 uh, this set s has a limit point 0 and we know that inside your domain c zero exist right now because zero is inside your domain c that is why according to the identity theorem we can say that f of z is also equal to z square that means on for all z belongs to c so finally we have proved according to the identity theorem that your function will be z square so that is why your option number option number third is correct second is incorrect third is incorrect fourth is incorrect all right so this is how we can solve this problem if you have any doubt regarding this problem what you can do you can always ask in the comment section and also if you have any other different doubt a different prop different problem from this problem then you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups uh, they are actually designed for such problems. All right. They are students are the member of those groups They are the same like you as you are preparing for CSIR net. They are also preparing for CSIR net So that group was designed so that you can help each other. All right I'm not saying that they are expert, but what you can do by cooperation you can always succeed. All right, so thank you